Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It's good to be back. We're going to have a fun episode today. Uh, we're going to get into this Tank Davis and Eddie Hearn beef. Um, I, I, we'll get into it. Before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. That's Texas Boxing Scene. Uh, very near and dear to our heart. All right. So, you know, um, some people say things that I don't quite fully. Why would you say this, right? Like Eddie Hearn this is reported by Michael Benson. Michael Benson tweeted this. I didn't hear Eddie Hearn say it. Uh, I was shocked when I read it. Uh, but Michael Benson said, Eddie, uh, tweeted, Eddie Hearn, the dangerous thing about Javante Davis is he's not a deep thinker. He's not articulate. I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. Okay, time out. Time out. Time out. He's not a deep thinker, not articulate. How is that not? How can you say that in a not disrespectful way? Like, There's no other way to say that than to be 100% disrespectful. I, I mean, there's no other way. You're, you're ugly and you know, your face is mangled. I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. How else could it be said? There's no other way to say that. And then to say that I don't mean it in a dis- Yes, you do. Y- yes, you do. Because there's no other way it can be said. You can't say you're not a deep thinker and not articulate in a respectful way. So there's no other way to say it. Okay. So that's... <laughs> I just... I can't. It's like, you're really ugly. Nothing personal. Well, it's directed at this person. What he's saying is you're very stupid not to be disrespectful. Oh, it's disrespectful. It's a grown man talking about another grown man that way. I mean, if you said that to someone, if you said, if you, in your own personal life, said that that person's not articulate and not a thinker, not a deep thinker, you're disrespecting that person, right? You're saying it to be, there's no other way to say it. Uh, he's a bad mother like Mike Tyson. That makes him dangerous because he's fearless. You can't get into his head. Well, it's easy to razzle non-thinkers. Very easy. You got a thinker like Kobe, Kobe Bryant. Could you razzle him? Floyd Mayweather, could you razzle? He could razzle you. He could get in your head. Could you get in his? No. Because he's a thinker. So none of that doesn't make any sense. Right? Like if you want to piss someone off, you go after the you go after the stupidest person in the room. He's easy. He's easy to piss off the dumbest person in the room. That's simple. The thinker, the guy that's playing chess, you're not gonna get in his head. Yeah, you know, Gilbert Arenas, the basketball player, told the story. Kobe's guarding him, and um, you know, but Gilbert's not guarding him on the other end because Gilbert didn't play any defense, right? And Gilbert's kind of holding his own. Um, and, and uh, he goes to he starts talking a little trash to Kobe, and Kobe says, "You're gonna be a one-sided player. Why don't you come D me up? You know, you're just gonna play one side of the ball." And Gilbert's like, "All right, pretty much, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I'm, I'm just gonna play offense and score a bunch of points." Right? <laughs> Kobe's like, "You can't be a great player unless you play both sides of the basketball, right?" Gilbert Arenas comes out and guards him. Kobe gets him in the post. Says, how many fouls he got? Two. Here comes number three, right? Puts a little spin move on him. Gilbert fouls him, number three. Kobe says, go sit on the bench, stupid. You got three fouls, right? <laughs> you could get in Gilbert's head. You couldn't get in Kobe's head. Because you, you, smart people are smarter than that. Dumb people will take the bait. If you want to bait someone, you bait the dumbest person you know. You don't bait the, the, the most analytical, most critical thing you know, because he's not going to buy it. So the, the comment doesn't make any sense. Um, and then 
obviously, I don't mean it to be disrespectful. Obviously, it's disrespectful. So Javante comes back and says, not a deep thinker and not articulate made me not <laughs> sign that offer you sent. Yeah. You know, it, 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 would you work with someone who thinks you're stupid? There's someone who, who who disrespects you like that. You know, look, if he says that out loud to Michael Benson, it's obvious, right? And, and I was um, it was it was in Chicago after Usyk fought Chaz Witherspoon. We were in a press conference with Eddie Hearn, and um, Eddie Hearn um, wanted to make Tank Davis an offer to fight Tevin Farmer, and he asked us in the media. In the post by press conference. What's a good amount of money? Usyk hadn't come to the press conference, so Eddie was just sitting there answering our questions. So Eddie comes to talk, talks to addresses the media, right? And he said, What's a good dollar amount that I could offer Tank that he won't say no to a Tevin Farmer fight? I said five, five, five mil. And he goes, Five. I like that. I'm gonna offer him five million. And and I said, Well, it's gonna take five million to fight Tevin Farmer. No disrespect to Tevin Farmer, but He's a good fighter. Tank Davis destroys Tevin Farmer, right? Why would you not take $5 million? Um, Tank turned it down. And I couldn't figure out why. It was three years ago, at least. It's before the pandemic. It's more than three years ago. Why would he turn that down? Well, now it starts to make a bit of sense. The guy thinks you're an idiot and probably talks to you like a child. Like, I'm not... Don't belittle me, degrade me, disrespect me, and then expect me to work with you. I if, you, if I'm Tank Davis, I got options. I don't need to work with you. I, I got plenty of people who want my who, who want my me to work. Who, who you know who, who don't think I'm a moron, right? There's just no reason if you think Tank Davis is a is is, is a dumb person. And I'm not saying he is, but if that's what Eddie Hearn thinks, keep it to yourself. He's a grown man. Like it's not needed. It's not necessary. I, I got like I I don't know why someone would say that. Um, I was hoping that Tank Davis Ryan Garcia fight was going to get announced today. It doesn't look like it is. Well, obviously it's not. Ten thirty Texas time. It's not going to get announced today. Um, but it's obviously a great fight. It's a fight that I'm looking forward to. Um, I'm I'm taking Tank. You know I think I take Tank against anyone at the in the in, in, at one thirty five, especially Rye. Um, I, I just want to see the details of the fight. Is it going to be above 135? Is it going to be at a catch weight? It's obviously a non-title fight, but you know, is that interesting? The two biggest fights so far announced for, for this year. Um, well, I, actually, the three biggest fights: Fulton and, and Figueroa, two, also non-title fight, right? Um, so the three biggest fights: Thurman Spence at 154, Ryan Garcia, Tank Davis, all non-title fights. Um, that's interesting, but you know, you know. When you say something like um, you're not a deep think, you're not a thinker, and uh, you're not articulate, and then say not to be disrespectful. Huh, well, no, it's disrespectful, and you meant it to be. You weren't trying to be disrespectful. You were being disrespectful. Simple and plain. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Do you think about this feud, this back and forth between Hearn and and uh, and Tank Davis. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Um, Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Our quick hits comes up to every day, eight to ten minutes a day. Please subscribe tech, uh, to 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, follow us on all forms of social media. Texas Boxing Scene, please. That's the other channel. Uh, all proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.